I'm in Dave's garage. Whoa. What was the USB card of death and how many people died? So should I should I further the conspiracy or should I debunk the conspiracy? I could try either way. I hit that in grade nine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that kind of person. And I had a massive Big, pile massive, of cables. Yeah. Just, I've got no buffer. I've got nothing. I got in the queue. nothing. Like it's all I, going live tonight. I, so back in the days of App Combat and Windows ninety five, tell me about the big trip to Egghead. Ah, uh, yes, the big trip to Egghead. So the development manager for the overall Windows ninety five project, he was he was a very clever man who often took unconventional approaches to uh, problem solving and. For the app compatibility, for the issue of like, okay, we need to make sure that Windows 95 has maximum compatibility with existing Windows 3.1 apps. So he took his pickup truck, drove down to the local Egghead, which if you don't know, Egghead was a store that sold computer software. Those things actually existed. Like it was an actual store. You walked into it and there were rows of shelves with software on it. I'm pretty sure none of those doors really exist anymore. Um, they're they're like now the corner of like an office supply store or something. Um, but at the time, there were actual businesses completely dedicated to selling boxes of software. So he drove his pickup truck down to the Egghead, walked into the store, and said, "I would like one of everything." And they're like, uh, "What are you talking about?" It's like, "I would like to buy one copy." of every PC software product, product that you have on your shelves. And they're like, really? He's like, yes. It's like, okay. And the, he just loaded up his pickup truck with one, one box from every product in the store. I'm sure this completely, like, you know, completely messed up all of their ordering from that store. First of all, that store was probably very, very happy because they hit their quotas for like three years in one day. And well, maybe not three years, but they did a really good job, but it probably also messed up the, all the predictive ordering. He's like, oh, you sell this much last month? Let me go reorder like twice as much for right, next month. Right, right. <laughs> um, but he returned, it was like, not my problem, that's that guy's problem. He returns to the, to the Microsoft offices with his pickup loaded with software, unloads all the software onto tables in the cafeteria and calls everybody in, calls in the entire dev team, the developers, testers, everybody, and says, I just have, I just bought a piece, one piece of software, one of everything from Egghead. Every, you know, every product is represented here you can go in and like pick a piece of software and adopt it. It is yours. The expectation is that you will install it, test it, file bugs. If you do a good job, you can keep it. And so all of a sudden it became like a flea market. Like everybody was just walking down up and down the aisles. It's like, Oh, what did you get? You know, it's like, Oh, did you find anything good? Uh, I'm still looking. Um, and you know, you, you come out with your piece of software, take it back, back to your office and, you know, you install it, run it, uh, file bugs against it. Uh, games were of course a very popular genre. And so, and most games at that time were DOS based games. They were not windows based games. And so me, MS DOS compatibility guy bugs ended up mostly landing on my plate. Uh, and so I spent a very large chunk of my time in the Windows 95 project doing application compatibility for games. And some of them were like really interesting. There was one game I remember there was a bug that only manifested after you'd been playing the game to like level 27. It was like, it was one of the wing commanders, I believe. Because when you finally get it to level 27, you get a cloaking device. And the bug was, play the game until level 27, until you get the cloaking device. Start a mission, press the key to activate the cloaking device. The result is no cloaking device. So you can't pass the mission because you need that cloaking device to pass the mission. 
Fortunately, he included a save game because there was no way I was right. going to play that thing for 40 <laughs> hours to get to level 27. Um, and I figured it out. The problem was that the hotkey for the cloaking device was control C. And so that conflicted with the existing code in the MS-DOS emulation layer that d that did um, that treated control C as a cancel key for if you pasted a large amount of text. So if you had a large amount of text in the clipboard and you hit paste, we would manually simulate keyboard activity to type all those letters into the keyboard. And if you hit control C, we would stop. And the problem was that the control C that you hit was being interpreted as a stop pasting text and the app never got to see it. Right, so it got eaten. It got eaten. And so I was like, yep, this is a real bug. Uh, so I added some stuff. And so now it's like, oh, we will only honor that hotkey if a paste is active. It used to be when you hit the key, we would recognize it. We would say, oh, I'm sorry, paste is not active. We didn't actually eat the key. What we did is we replayed the key back into the app. So we would say, okay, control key down, C down, C up, control key up. The problem is that our replay was too fast. So we would replay the key, but the app would not check the keyboard fast enough. And so we'd never see the key get pressed, right? We'd, we'd say key down. He would say, is the key down? No. And then we would press the key and release it. And he would say, how about now? No. And so it would never actually see the, the cloaking command being activated. And so, yeah. And so the solution was just completely ignore the hotkey sequence if a paste is not active. So then the key went in at human speeds and then the app could see it. Uh, race conditions were a very common source of problems because when you're running in a multitasking operating system, um, the app is no longer getting 100% of the CPU. Uh, and so it's like, yeah, I learned that I can do exactly 500 of these things a second. And well, but now if you're multitasking with Excel, you can only do 250 of them a second. And then maybe in a couple of minutes, you can only do 100 of them a second. Like in this case, a keyboard sequence, we would replay a key sequence too fast. So, so.